In this video, I'd like to continue talking about adding and subtracting complex numbers, but with a geometric interpretation. So you can see here we have our complex plane where the horizontal axis, that's our real numbers, so we can mark them if we want as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Whereas our vertical axis, this is going to be multiples of the imaginary unit, so i, 2i, 3i, and so on. So with adding or subtracting complex numbers, we could also look at what happens on the complex plane. So let's first start by just plotting these points. So we have 2 plus i, so we go over 2 in the real part, and then up 1 in our imaginary part. And so this point 2 plus i is right here on our complex plane. Whereas 1 plus 3i, so we go over 1, in the real part and then up 3i in our imaginary part. So this blue dot, this is where the complex number 1 plus 3i is on the complex plane. Now one way to interpret these complex numbers on the complex plane is by using what's called a vector. So we're not going to get too much into the details here, but basically a vector is like an arrow. So we can draw on a line and it has an arrow pointing out or essentially pointing to that coordinate point. So a vector, its proper definition, a vector has a length, a magnitude, and it has some direction. It's at some angle to the positive real axis here. So some amount of degrees above this horizontal axis. So vectors have length and direction. So we can describe this point by using a vector, and we can do the same thing with this blue point here. We can draw in the vector, or if it helps, you can just think of this as the arrow to that point. And so when we're adding these two points, we're really just adding these two vectors. And the way to add vectors is you take your starting vector, and then the vector you're adding to that, you want to slide it over and imagine putting it on top of it, or essentially putting it where this vector ends. So where the blue vector starts is where the orange vector ends. So imagine just sliding it over a little bit up and a little bit to the right so that we get a new vector. It's the same vector but it's just slid over a bit, so let me make sure I'm drawing this properly. So it should be right about there, and this isn't going to be a perfect picture, but you get the general idea. So again, just imagine you are sliding it over and essentially along the orange vector. And by doing that, we create the sum of these two vectors, and where the last vector points to that is actually the sum of the two original vectors. So I'll draw that in green. It goes from the origin to this new point here. And you can see that's at the point three for our real part and looks like one, two, three, four i for our imaginary part. And you can verify that using just arithmetic. We're gonna add our real parts together, that's three and we'll add our imaginary parts together. i plus 3i is just 4i. So you get the same value either using the picture or by just using basic arithmetic here. So let's look at a second example using subtraction, but let me first clear this away so that we have a clean picture to work with. So with the subtraction problem, it's gonna work in a very similar way, but slightly different. So let's first just plot the two points. So 4 plus 2i, we go over 4 in our real and up 2i in our imaginary. And again, we can draw the vector to that point, the arrow pointing toward that coordinate point to that complex number. And for the yellow one, we go over 3 for our real and up 4 or 4i in the imaginary direction. And again, let's draw that vector in. Now, when we are subtracting, remember subtracting is really just adding the opposite number. 
So we could think of it as adding the opposite of this vector. And so the way to subtract vectors is you first want to find the opposite of the vector you're subtracting. And the opposite, essentially, we're just going to flip it or rotate it 180 degrees. Or you can imagine kind of flipping it over the origin here. So it's just going to have the opposite coordinate points. It's going to be at minus 3 for our real part and minus 4i for the imaginary part. So it should be roughly like that. And you can see it, it will form a straight line with your original vector. And then once we have the opposite of the vector we're subtracting, we're just going to add the original vector and that opposite vector. And remember adding, we start with the original one and we're going to slide the second one over so that the beginning of the second one is at the end of the first one. So let's draw that in very carefully. So it will roughly point like this. And of course, this is all drawn by hand, so it's not going to be perfect. But if you used a computer, this would be perfectly slid over. But again, remember, you're, you're effectively just sliding it along the vector so that the tail of the one you're subtracting lines up with the tip of the one you're subtracting from. So our new vector, or the difference of these two complex numbers, will start at the origin and go to where they finish. And let me use a straight line tool for that. So it starts at the origin and will essentially go right there. And that new vector is pointing to the point 1 and then minus 2i, since it's 1 over in the positive real direction and it's down 2 or 2 imaginary units in that imaginary direction. And we can see that that's true if we just use arithmetic here. So we have 4 minus 3, we combine the real parts, that's just 1, and we have 2i and we're subtracting 4i, 2i minus 4i, that's minus 2i. So you can see you get the exact same answer. It's just now we have a visual way to interpret how to add and subtract complex numbers.